Well, good morning, and uh, welcome to another edition of the Bare Bones. Um, so, I'm going to be reviewing the Iron Reapers in this little episode, and I want to apologize for not getting a video the last two weeks. My EVE Online uh, Alliance and Corporation has been busy retreating across the galaxy, and uh, I, I thought about doing uh, like a Calvary video, but, you know, I actually, I'm, I'm very horrible with my Calvary, so if you're going to do an, an, an analytical video on something like that, you should at least be good with the unit. But with the Iron Reapers, it's a little different because they made a change, right? And uh, so I thought, well, I'm not very good with the Iron Reapers either because I tend to prefer faster moving units. And I've always found with the Iron Reapers that even when you get them into a fight, they, they, they don't last too long because they swing so slow and and uh, they have incredibly high defenses, but they have no shield block, right? So I find that the shield block tends to work better. But they did make some changes. And the changes I thought were, well, will this, does this help me? You know, will this help me improve my play? Does it add uh, an, uh, an element to it that would more fit my style? So that's what this is. This is, can a guy who is not that good with Iron Reapers in the first place, does this change help? So let's take a look at, at what was changed. And of course, before we do that, here are your timestamps. So if you want to look at a few other different things, and uh, you'll notice that um, I did a couple of blunt battles. Actually, I did quite a few blunt battles. Uh, you know, uh, and by blunt, I mean blunt damage. I was using the flail. flail. And uh, I seem to get like at least a three to one kill ratio in all the battles I've done. Uh, so in this one, I, I included the, um, one of the ones that I got like a quite high, like I was like over 90, over a hundred, something like that, uh, kills with the blunt. And then I, I included one of the ones where I just fell on my face and, uh, failed miserably. And then I, I switched from the blunt to the sword. I, I respect them and I, I went sword and, uh, I got 193 kills with just the iron reapers. And I found that, uh, subsequent plays i got more kills with the sword than i did with the blunt and i and as i played them i realized there's a reason for that so i'll, I'll get into that as i as i uh, narrate through the the um the gameplay footage so anyway let's take a look at the uh stats and uh i had actually saved um i had actually had a, a screenshot of the old iron reaper stats and so i was able to compare them with the new stats and they're exactly the same. There was no changes at all in the individual stats of the Iron Reapers. So they still have their very high resistances. They didn't tweak anything else. Uh, they just basically made one change. And that was to add Tiger Step. Now, it says here, like, after attacking, the Iron Reapers will adjust their position and launch another normal attack. So I'm not entirely sure what that means. They swing again. And then it says for 12 seconds after using this skill, the Iron Reapers will have a chance to initiate a short charge against the enemy upon using a normal attack, knocking back the enemy. So it's it's an interesting little ability. And I'm like, well, does that mean they just get a little extra charge? Like, what is this? Like, there's no damage bonus, it looks like. It's just they get one more swing and then a short charge. So maybe this will help because they're very anemic in movement. And, and that's one of the big problems I have with them is that I can't swing them around like I, I can like a men at arms unit or, or a paladin unit because they're a lot slower. And so I found that dropping the unit on on top of a player was extremely hard to do, right? Players just, just walk away from them, right? So no, no review video would not be complete without looking at my doctrines. And as, as you can see, they're not very good. Uh, I got the, the breakthrough doctrine, the assassination doctrine, a little extra health, you know, the slashing doctrine. So they're, they're, they're not very good because I, I don't use this unit that often. Now they're level 30, you say, ah, but the reality of it is, is, is I never leveled these guys. I'll be honest. <laughs> what, what I did is, is I just played my normal units and as I... Uh, you know the same eight units i always play and they're all maxed out and i would just you know get all that free xp and over time i would just dump it into whatever unit you know and uh so even like my my the latest archers i got like they're max level now but i've never really played them i just dumped you you know dumped uh like the perfection archers i just dumped points into it 
so the reality is, is I haven't played these guys this much. So let's see if this new, you know, the, these new skills help. And without further ado, let's try it out. All right, so here we are in uh, Lin Wu Fortress. And uh, this is actually my very first battle with the new, uh, you know, changes to the Iron Reapers. So I tend to play them like, I tend to play them almost like the Foot Cavalry. And I know I shouldn't be doing that, but that's my usual style, so I tend to play them that way. Uh, even though I know they're not foot cavalry and they're an in it to win it unit. But uh, this battle I actually got like 93 kills with them or 100 kills, somewhere in there. And uh, subsequent battles were roughly anywhere between 50 to 60 kills if they were any good or, or to 100. I've had other 100 uh, kills uh, with this uh, unit. But uh, generally speaking, it's about 3 to 1. So now you can see, I'm trying to get the guys back there to drop on top of them. Look at them just standing there doing nothing, right? So it is it is rather hard. I've already hit Tiger Step. I tell them to self-heal. That's a good uh, ability to have. But they're slow. And it's hard to, to maneuver them. See, I, I again, I try to drop them on that guy. And, and uh, I think I do get him. Yeah, I got him. Uh, but they don't move very fast. And because of the way the formation is, I, it's, it's, um, I sometimes drop them past them and they can't, they don't, you know, they don't move quick so they just kind of amble over there, right? So, so I just got a few kills there and I went back to the, to the heal point to come back. And again, I'm gonna try and get this guy, but he runs off, right? They just don't have the speed to chase a, a player down. But I see that big mess over there, and again, I, I, I try to line up for a charge, but by the time I get in place, a lot of the unit, a lot of the stuff is uh, uh, not there anymore. And again, I miss the player. Uh, I'm killing surfs now, so... And again, the player just escapes, right? And again, I try to drop it on top of the player. It doesn't go. I hit V. They just don't move quick. And so when you're when you're when you're trying to play them like a like a foot cat unit, even though you're you're telling yourself constantly, I don't play them like that. Uh, they're a little anemic. Now again, I'm at 58 kills, but half of those were surfs. Uh, so again, I try to drop them onto that massive uh, massive uh, uh, players, but they they don't do anything. But here's the thing, now they're in it, and they're killing cavalry, and they're killing uh, uh, gray haired garrison, and they're doing okay, like they're, they're dying, but they're doing okay, they're, they're getting the kills. Because we're all in one big mass, got a player, that's good, 87, you know, so you kind of kind of can't play them like, like foot cavalry, you know, even though, like even with my crappy play, I still managed to get about 93 kills with them. And here's another uh, instance of crappy play where they do all right. And again, this is with the, the, the flail. I switch back to the flail here. And I go in and we're on Regionopolis. And I go in and they do a you know, 2 to 1, 3 to 1 kill ratio. But I'm still playing them like they're foot cavalry. And you just can't do that, right? Now I do start playing them like how they should be playing, which is you you got to bully people, right? You got to get in there in their in their face and, and and be in it to win it with you, like they're not, you know. And uh, so that's what's going to happen in in, in the uh, sword videos. I start to realize I really got to bully guys, right? So he comes at me with his his halberds. Now I'm going to charge in. In they go. And it's me versus the maidens. Now, the flails do good job in this regard because they'll uh, they'll hammer that shield wall down, right? Um, and you notice I, I clash a shield through there. That was to help my my uh, boys get in. 
but I am taking quite a bit of damage here. And you notice I popped the heal, uh, like the the, the, the the unit heal. And I saw that cavalry coming in, so I got out of the way. And then again, I, I, I push the unit forward, press B, but I'm only up to 30 kills, right? Okay, so that's two to one here at this point. And I'm taking arrow fire. And they, they, even though they have like such a high uh, penetrating uh, resistance, they've got no shield blocks. So, um, you know, if an arrow hits, it's going to hit, right? It's not going to be blocked entirely by the shield. So you notice the damage has happened. So I, I went back, I, I, I repaired them, I, I came back. And in, in these tight quarters, I'm really at a loss on how to play them. So you're going to see me just completely screw the pooch up here. Because I did there. I, did, I set it at a door, and I'm like, well, how do I get through here, right? If it was a men at arms unit, it's pretty easy. They move fast, you get through the door, they put the shield up, and then you charge whatever you want to charge. These guys have such a wide formation, and they're so slow moving that, uh, you know, getting them through the door, it, you know, I just didn't, couldn't see how I could do that. So I sat here, and, and, I, and uh, I'm going to skip ahead a bit, but I basically sat here for like five minutes with this... Uh, um, uh, you know, with a with an assassin player and a, and a spear guy coming out every once in a while and dicking around with me. But eventually, when I do decide to move in, it's too late. But I do want to show one interesting thing that happened when I did move in, which is why this is in here, other than my horrible play. Yeah, see, this guy keeps coming out. And, and this goes on for like five minutes, right? So I, I skipped it. And so I come in. And I should have charged right away, but I, again, I was dithering because I was trying to figure out how to set up the charge, and they moved out of the way. And so, like, I should have charged already. But, but watch what happens over here to that shield unit. Boom, knocks two of them back. Like, I thought that was pretty interesting. So I come in anyway, I drop the unit on top, and uh, this guy goes into, he's a spear sergeant here, so I think he, he must have hit uh, cover me, because I'm instant dead. So, this is probably the worst game I've had with these guys. And they, they, they barely do anything, right? Like, 37 kills is completely unacceptable with a gold unit, right? So, if there's any way not to play the Iron Reapers, this is it, right? Um, so, I would, I would highly recommend that you, you're, you're going to have to use them to bully. You're going to have to... If you can get a flank shot, fantastic, but... Um, I just sat there and did it the whole bloody match. And uh, so that's the way not to play them. So here is the sword build I use. And you can see that I, I took the, the, the sword line because you get that extra 15% plus to, to infantry damage at the top. But you also go down the bottom line instead of the middle because you're not going to use the flail. So you don't need any blunt damage. But you do want that heal, right? And the extra defenses. So that's what I did there. So here we are again in Lin, in Lin Wu Fortress, and now I'm using the Flail. And I've had a, quite a few battles with the Blunts at this point, and I've learned uh, a little bit better how to play. Um, I've actually had better battles, but I didn't want to put too, too many in here. I, want to, like, I like to show where I screw up as well as where I do well. So uh, all my subsequent battles with the Swords were not quite as good as this one but they were still you know in the 80 to 100 kill range um which is pretty good you know that's five to one like this is this is insane like this this one is going to be like 193 kills with the swords so i'm sitting there waiting for the the siege to uh you know for those guys to get through uh and i decided to park myself here because i know in this in this fight they generally come in and they turn to the left and go up to the point right so i thought well maybe i can get a, a rear charge in without having to work for it right so all these guys are lined up waiting to go in and I'm sitting there waiting for a rear charge and they're going to give it to me. Let's just give it a sec. And here they come. And here we go. Contact. And hit the step and let's see what happens. Now again, I, I know I can't use them to, to assassinate players. They, they just don't work that way, even though I am getting a player kill. Uh, that was not me dropping the unit on the, on the player to assassinate him. Uh, that was the unit just doing it. But remember, they get that extra 15% damage to uh, 
to infantry, and I think that's huge. And not only that, though, uh, they swing faster than the, than the, um, the flail. So I think, as we looked at the previous uh, video, when that one flail guy went into the spear sergeants and knocked them all down, and same with the, the shield maidens, um, if you're going to use a flail build, and a lot of people originally did use it because of the, you know, will damage, will knock heroes back and that kind of stuff uh, in, in the tree. If you're going to use a flail build, you know, go for the shield wall, slam into them and, and use the, the, the flail to, to, to push through a shield wall. But a sword unit, that's different. They're not going to be able to do that. So use them to go after the softer targets or into the real, real shield wall. So I decided to charge here because there's three heroes there and I'm flipping and maybe I can grab one. And again. But ah, uh, success. And I'm pushing forward. Again, I'm not trying to get out now. I've, I've learned my lesson. Although I do pull back. It's only because I had, we had won that fight and there was that uh, uh, pike unit there that, that could cover my release. But I didn't try to get back until the fight was won. Right, this guy heals me and... Um, they don't stack. We can't both we'll heal at the same time, so I wait till his uh, clears, and then I put my own on. So that's why I delayed my heal because he put his on mine. So now he's got his his uh, his men at arms sitting there, and I'm thinking, well, what the fuck? Let's go down and try. Just push, you know. Let's let's kick these guys out and go on in. And bam, in we go. Now again. This is a, an archer unit and a surf unit, and I'm just racking up the kills. And the reason that is, is I think because that fast swing speed, and they're very, you know, light units. But I, it's, I don't just do this to the, the light units, I do this to a little more heavier unit too. So I can get out of the way of that, that, that march. And again, I'm going to go right back in. Even though you could almost say that's a little bit of foot cavalry play, but I wasn't really engaged, so I could get away with it. Right, and I'm going to kill another 30 players, or another 30 uh, bots here. And another player. And another player. And I'm going to kill it. And another player. So to me, and I just left them, right? I just said, screw it. I got it. 193 kills. And quite a few player kills as well. And then I went to a men at arms unit. And then I was MVP this this battle. And my men at arms unit, like, uh, I did another, like, 50 kills with them. So I, this, this, that battle, I got over 200 plus, 220, 230 kills, something like that. Uh, and then the, the it ended really quickly after that. So I would think, um, did it help my play or was I just better than I thought I was with them? I'm not sure, uh, to be honest. I mean, I did use it and I did rack up kills and, they, and the Iron Reapers were able to, with the sword, uh, make short work of light units and actually chop up heavier units as well, all in the same match. So... Um, Am I going to add this to my? Am I going to add this to my uh, builds? I think I will. I think I will because um, they they're not my typical uh, foot cab unit. But if I want to have a little fun being a bully, I think this unit would do that. So anyway, thanks for watching. Um, please like and subscribe, and uh, I'll see if I can get working on a on a. I got an idea for a couple more uh, videos that might actually. Um, fit my analytical style. So we'll, we'll see. Uh, but thanks for watching. Thanks for waiting for two weeks to get this. And I'll see you on the flip side. Cheers.